Hello and welcome to New Parenting Training. So today we got a product from Mas Rick House and they sent us this to review. This is a gooseneck kettle and it's eight in one. So there's a lot of feature happening here. And also this is a smart temperature control and precise pour as well. So today I'm gonna to unbox and then we're gonna test it out to see how precise the temperature control is. So stay tuned. Let's unwrap this first. All right, first you're gonna see is the manual instruction. Here is the cap. The face. Oh, cool. Got knobs on there. Here is the kettle itself. Hey, looks very nice. All right, so that's it. <laughs> That's all the stuff inside. And let me go read up the instruction and just wash this up a little bit and then we're gonna start testing this. All right, so before we start testing, let's talk about some of the key features here. Now you have two knobs on the front. One is to keep warm. Uh, that will come into play once you have reached the optimal temperature that you want it to be. And the other one is on off switch and also adjusting the temperature on the LED screen here. For the temperature, you can set it from anywhere from 86 degree Fahrenheit to 212 degree Fahrenheit. So there's a wide range of temperature that you can set this to. That's very useful depending on what the water temperature you want to be. For parents, if you want to use it to make formula, the optimal temperature is right around 98.6 degree body temperature, which I'm going to test out in a little bit. On the back, there are two switches. One is what they call the buzz switch. Really, it's just a noise indicator. If you turn it on, if you turn the knob, it will make a noise to indicate that you are making adjustment on the knob. And the other switch is for what they call the child lock. While it is trying to boil the water, you do not want to mess around with the knobs in the front. So if you have a kid or a pet at home that will easily jump on to or change the setting on the knobs, it's safe to say that you need to turn the child lock on. Now as far as for the kettle, you have the minimum and the max indicator in it. So as far as for this particular kettle, the maximum capacity is at 0.95 liter. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to test out the capacity. So I have here this container, which you have, was it 500 ml? All right, so the first stop is 500 ml. I'm going to go and pour it in. Now it actually is right around the minimum line. And then this is a second cup of 500 ml water. It's right about max line. So every indicator in the case is 500 ml. So first test I want to do is to test to see how long it will take for this kettle to hit the water to 99 degree. The reason for that is because we have an infant at home and we do use formula. The best water temperature for formula will be at 98.6 degree Fahrenheit, which is the body temp. Now, since this not dial does not do any decimal points, so it can only do whole digit. So the only thing I can do is to set it to 99 degree Fahrenheit. And also, mind you, according to the manual, the temperature will come out plus or minus two degree difference. So just bear that in mind. On the base here, there is a timer. If you press and hold the on off switch, the timer will show up. But once it show up, it will start ticking. And there's no way for you to stop it. Like it will, if you click on it again, it will just reset and then start over again. So it's a little bit hard to control. Now what I'm gonna do to clear that and to use a actual timer here. So what I'm going to do now is put this on top. Uh, right now the room temperature is at 70 degrees. So I'm just going to see how long it will take for, oh. Yeah, right around 69 to 70 degrees. So I'm going to see how long it will take for uh, the water inside here, which is at max level, to the 99 degree Fahrenheit. After it has done so, I'm going to pour inside this eight ounce bottle. 
and then use the heat gun to see how hot is the water that came out of the kettle. So uh, without further ado, let's start with this. Uh, right now, I set it to 99 degree, so I'm gonna press on, and then press start, and then see how long this will take. So while the water was heating up, I turned on the buzz noise. So once it's done, it will make the beep beep sound. If you don't have the buzz noise on, then the light will just go off. Anyway, it took just under two minutes to get to the 99 degree I wanted to. And now let's pour this out and see how hot it really is. And as you can see, the water is so easy to pour this water out. No, it's actually 99.6 degree. Okay, so the temperature is, yeah, 99.7 degree. So it's actually fairly precise. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is to heat up this water to 212 degree boiling point, which is the temperature to brew my coffee with. Uh, so I'm not gonna do any pour over or anything fancy. I'm just doing a French press. All right, new pot of water, go to max line. And now it's at 72 degree. Okay, let me close the lid and then turn on. Right now, I'm trying to get to the boiling point, which is 212 degree Fahrenheit. All right, so it took just under five minutes and 14 seconds. To, for this kettle to brew from room temperature all the way to 212 degree Fahrenheit. All right, my final thought about this gooseneck kettle. What I like about it, if you have an infant at home who drinks formula, this is perfect for you. Not only you can use this kettle to boil water for your personal use, such as making tea or coffee, but also you can use this kettle to make warming up water for your baby's formula. Not only that, you can keep your water warm at your desired temperature for up to 24 hours. That's a really great feature to have. And also, if you do have kids at home or pets, and they have a child lock on it. So once you turn it on, doesn't matter where you press on the knob, it will not change the setting until the lock is being released. Another feature I really enjoy is how easy it is to pour out the water with this gooseneck kettle. And it's very precise where you want the water to go. So if you are doing a pour over, that's really a must to have because some area of the coffee, you just need to have the water to touch, but not by pouring all too much water onto it. So this will give you a precise pouring. So anyway, this is my review of the Masri House Gooseneck Kettle. If you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.